What is going on, Depression Alert Nation? I am your host, Glarfsnarf. Let's get rolling into the sadness. What a terrible intro. What's up, guys? This is Burt Music, and we're back on some Call of Duty Online today, but honestly, today's not going so good. There's a good number of things I want to talk about today, none of which I really feel like are all that positive. I mean, shit. I don't know why this is a video, but hey, here we're going for it. I'm back on COD Online. Apparently, I have two supply drops. I don't know if these were gifted or not. I really don't know because it's not like a... Okay, never mind. They were free. Where's my free supply drops? What? No, that was a lot. <laughs> the game's already logging to me. I didn't even get a supply drop. It was just like a daily login reward. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? But yeah, guys, I've got a pretty wide range of topics I want to talk about today. I want to talk about the G Fuel tournament. I want to talk about some Call of Duty 2021 leaks. And honestly, the only thing that's going to get me through this video, get me through the rest of the day, is being able to, you know, like talk to some Chinese people on Call of Duty Online. Try to have some fun. So let's get into it. The G Fuel tournament! We lost. I don't even know if I can fake laugh it off. Like, I'm actually just, oh my god. It really does pay me to say this, guys, but yes, we are now out of the G Fuel tournament for this year. We did make it to the quarterfinals, which is pretty fucking awesome. For this fourth round, it was a creative round, and we had to come up with, like, a custom shaker cup design. I even put out a poll on YouTube, and I asked you guys what you wanted to see. Most of you guys wanted to see phase boost. I mean, that was pretty hilarious. But some of the other G Fuel shaker cup submissions, I mean, they were really good. To be perfectly honest, I got completely blindsided by the whole thing, because it was supposed to be really done in, like, Cinema 4D. Some kind of 3D program where you can actually, like, model the shaker cups, and you can make them look really high quality. I created the shaker cup designs in Photoshop. I still thought they were really good, but it is what it is, man. I mean, I tried my best. I tried to make the best possible shaker cups I could, but there's definitely some room for improvement. And if there's another opportunity, I mean, I'm down. Again, you guys absolutely killed it with the code usage. So many of you guys were using code Merc. So yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys for allowing me to get this far into the competition. I feel really bad because I feel like I let the entire community down and I absolutely fucking hate doing that. But I mean, hey, maybe this is an opportunity to learn how to use Cinema 4D or just, you know, try harder to make an even better shaker cup. You guys 100% deserve it for being the best fucking community ever. I sincerely thank Thank you guys so much for the support. But that's pretty much it for the G Fuel tournament. Now we're on to our next piece of news. Eric is a senile old man. So when I woke up this morning, I mean, I saw the email that I wasn't going to be going on to the semifinals for the G Fuel tournament. But then on top of that, I don't know what I did last night, but I fucked my neck up, dude. I don't know what it is about the Epic Gamer lifestyle, but it just causes like so many neck and back problems. At least for me, I woke up this morning feeling like a fucking dinosaur. So yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of taking it easy, especially now that the tournament's done. I think I'm ready for retirement. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm probably just going to be chilling today, take it easy. Even just sitting here now recording this video, like I feel tense. I feel it right here. I hate it. I hate it so much. I swear once I'm actually old, once I'm really a boomer, I'm going to be like the fucking hunchback of Notre Dame. I swear. Gross. Oh, the lag, but I'm still killing him. Next piece of news. COD 2021. Oh boy. Now again, this is just a leak, so I'm trying not to get too hyped about it, but apparently the next Call of Duty game is going to be Call of Duty Online. Psych, motherfucker. I'm all tab out of the game for a sec. Oh, this is the game. Call of Duty World War II Vanguard. Just having to read this title for this game, if this is really it, makes me so fucking sad. Specifically from a YouTuber or Twitch streamer's perspective, anytime you go to play this game, you gotta fucking put Call of Duty World War II Vanguard in the title. Just, can we, can we have shorter names, please? Something simpler? The article goes on to say that this is probably just a code name for the game. I really hope that is true. I mean, I, I just hope all of this is actually just fake, but it does say that the rumor suggests that the 2021 game will take place during the 1950s, expanding beyond what the 2017 game covered in its focus on the European front of the war. No, just no. Yo, the hit markers, god damn spawn protection. Kill it, Eric. Kill it. Yo, I actually got second place. Hell yeah. Oh, we got a sapling doppling. Let's open it up. It's not one of the gold ones, and it's probably gonna be bad. Yep, got a dupe and a calling card and some pants. Oh boy. This day just keeps getting better and better. But even though these early leaks for Call of Duty 2021 are already pointing towards a World War II game, I kind of see why they're doing it. You know, the whole thing about being a Call of Duty player for over a decade is that you really can't hide too much. I mean, I know exactly what they're trying to do if they do make a World War II Call of Duty game. Basically, what they're doing here is they're gonna take the next Call of Duty game and it's gonna be secondary to Warzone. Let me explain. Obviously, in 2019, we got Modern Warfare and then later on, they released Warzone. Ended up being a massive success. And then we got Black Ops Cold War in 2020. Obviously, Black Ops Cold War is not in the same time period or era as Modern Warfare. It's set in the 80s. So all things considered, in a game like Modern Warfare, you get guns like the M4, the Intervention, the M1014, guns like that. But with a game like Cold War, you get guns like the AK-74U. Again, I'm on COD Online, so it might be kind of hard to find some of these guns. There's the FAMAS. But if these leaks are true and we really are getting a World War II Call of Duty game for 2021, they might just be doing it so they can slap those World War II guns into Warzone. Because from a multiplayer standpoint for Call of Duty, this is probably not the best move. I'm pretty sure that 
Call of Duty World War II did not sell as well as Modern Warfare did. And for this year specifically, when Battlefield's going to be releasing a new game, there's going to be some pretty heavy competition in the FPS genre. Again, I'm trying to remain calm here because these are just very early leaks. This is not officially confirmed by Activision. But if any of this actually holds true, then I'm going to make an early prediction that this is not going to be a strong year for Call of Duty multiplayer. And to me personally, that's already a bummer because I'm not maining Black Ops Cold War multiplayer. Don't get me wrong. I still have fun playing Outbreak. I can play the multiplayer occasionally when there's new stuff out. And I've genuinely been having fun and been having a blast going back and playing the older Call of Duty games and stuff like that. But I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm excited for another World War II Call of Duty game unless it's World at War 2. But the chances of that actually being a thing are so low. Actually, hold on. Oh, this is kind of cool. We have the Thompson. ASM1. <laughs> but more often than not, at the end of the day, when I'm just like chilling and playing video games, I'm not usually playing like Call of Duty or Black Ops Cold War, unless it's Outbreak Zombies. You guys might've seen on my PS4. I mean, I have like Terraria installed, Stardew Valley, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelists. I've been playing some of the older Pokemon games and shit like that, like Raid Shadow Legends. I mean, anything to pass the time. Other than Black Ops Cold War or Warzone. It's just really a nice change of pace. I mean, it, there's just something about Call of Duty is so fun fucking stressful sometimes. To a degree, how much do you really want to sit down and play a game that's just going to frustrate the fuck out of you so much? Especially when you've been wanting specific changes for so long and then just nothing gets done. I, well, I don't know what happened to that server. Did I get banned? What? How could this day actually get any worse, bro? Are you fucking kidding me? But speaking of Black Ops Cold War, let's move into our next piece of news. The R1 Shadow Hunter crossbow is finally coming to Black Ops Cold War. Woo! Here it is. The archaic range bundle for the crossbow is available on the 24th. That's the picture of it. It actually looks pretty dope. Brush off the rust and pull back the string. Time to go hunting with the lance head crossbow. They should have made it rhyme. Brush off the rust and pull back the string. Time to go hunting unless you have bad pain. Good one, Eric. <laughs> it's actually just not loading me on Call of Duty Online. This is making me so sad. I'm gonna try IW4X. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, I, I guess the crossbow coming into Cold War, that's some slightly good news. The bundle for it's gonna be available this Wednesday. I don't know if the gun is actually available. I don't, I don't know. I don't know anything. I'll definitely check it out on Wednesday, but I'm expecting it to just not really be that good. <laughs> I think it's really funny how they accidentally released it early, but then had to like remove it and then refund everyone their money if they bought the bundle. But even then they didn't completely remove it properly because some people still have it. Like, oh my God. Hell yeah, the models. Look where we're just hiding. Shit, dude, I was one up the Harrier. Come on, had that streak going. But yeah, R1 Shadow Hunter and Black Ops Cold War. I mean, at least it's something new. Probably use it a little bit, get bored, go back to zombies. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it'll be good in Warzone. Maybe it's good in zombies. I don't know. This tweet is so funny to me. Like, after Charlie put out that leak about Call of Duty 2021, he says, So many people saying that would rather have a future era or jetpacks instead of a World War II game. And I'm just sitting here remembering how y'all flamed the devs for years over jetpacks. I feel personally attacked. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny because I was definitely one of those people as well. Like, I obviously had my criticisms about, you know, the futuristic movement and stuff, the futuristic setting. But there's a saying that hindsight is always 2020. And it's one of those things where, you know, you release a futuristic Call of Duty game, obviously people are going to miss modern Call of Duty or even more traditional Call of Duty games. But then once you introduce futuristic games, people are going to miss it at some point, even if it initially got backlash. It's the same thing with Call of Duty Ghosts. Even though it feels like a majority of the community did not really like Call of Duty Ghosts that much when it was first out, a lot of people reminisce about it and they actually like the game. Just because you have a certain opinion about something doesn't mean that it can't change later on. But I feel like the main reason people would have some kind of backlash or maybe just, you know, some negative feedback towards another World War II Call of Duty game is because they tend to be more boring. I understand that Call of Duty as a franchise started with World War II games, but I mean, I think World of War was peak, like, World War II Call of Duty. Even if you put Call of Duty aside and out of the equation, I mean, we had Battlefield 5 recently, there's just been a lot of World War II games and it's just kind of overdone at this point. And even though I definitely flamed Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare at the time, that didn't necessarily mean that I wanted more World War II Call of Duty game is just more like modern era near future kind of Call of Duty games like Black Ops and Modern Warfare. It is what it is. I know Call of Duty started with World War II, but it blew up and became popular and became the game that everyone knows and loves because of the modern era. When Call of Duty 4 first came out, that game skyrocketed the sales for Call of Duty at the time. And then obviously we had World of War, which was kind of like samey. And then you had Modern Warfare 2, which again was just huge. Black Ops 1 was also a massive success as well. So, you know, these are the games that people really fell in love with. Let's get it going. I gotta slowly get my way out of here. We got the chopper. Oh, yeah. I don't care. We're going for it. Let's do it. Oh, I see. There we go. There you go, Eric. Come on. Get him. They're just gonna keep spawning here. This is not a good enough chopper gunner, dude. I gotta get like another 10 kills. Care package on the way. What? Yo, where did he come from? Holy shit. Wow, what? That was not meant for me, no. <laughs> the dude got ammo out of a care package. I thought I was having a bad day. Whew. 
Ooh, AA12 is noisty. But yeah, let's sum up today. Eric's an old man who has a broken neck. He lost a G Fuel tournament. The leaks of the next Call of Duty game have him slightly depressed, but the crossbow coming out for Cold War has him, you know, a little bit happier. But not really, though. But does he still bung the boost? Absolutely. 100% dog. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my god, get me inside, get me inside. Woohoo! Fuck you. Oh, wait, what? I just realized I didn't get to talk to anyone in game chat on Chinese Call of Duty. I'm so sad. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. Wakes up and all my legs are broken. All seven of them. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed a very depressing video. <laughs> if you guys somehow managed to enjoy this video and you want tomorrow to be better, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. I don't need it. 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 I don